Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to yet another Steam Deck video. And in this video, I am going to show Mafia Definitive Edition working on the Steam Deck. I do want to point out a couple things. I'm not sure if this makes a major difference in the performance, but I am running the main OS update channel and the Steam client, Steam uh, client update channel on the beta, Steam Deck beta channel. And uh, to just show you the info, OS build 2022, 0914.100, and the OS version of 3.4. And let's see, also with the game, I have a custom launch option right here. I can't really easily scroll through the launch option, but I will post it in the description. And I will also link to the ProtonDB page for this game where the command is mentioned. So with that, I will get to launching the game and basically about the launch option, I believe it just bypasses, I guess, the 2K launcher and just launches the EXE directly. So uh, here we go. I also should mention I have the game at the lowest graphics settings at 1280 by 800 since it is very demanding and I have the FPS capped at 30 and I will put on the uh, performance overlay as well. I'm not sure how readable it will be, but hopefully it's readable. I had to adjust exposure and brightness and focus on my stream cam to be able to at least hopefully get this as readable as possible. I Looking at OBS, it looks pretty readable, so hopefully it's good. I apologize again. Hopefully YouTube doesn't butcher, with, butcher it with compression and stuff. But again, I could maybe up, uh, up the brightness in my video editor. And also I do have to mention in the game so far that I've noticed, it seems that the button prompts are all messed up. So as you can see, the GPU is completely getting wrecked and a good amount of VRAMs being used. try to play this as best I can without picking up so I don't screw up the focus or anything. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to pick it up. I forgot I was here. So, I'm not sure how much my mic is picking up the sound, but um, yeah, I'm not using my noise cancellation because I can't find anything that works on my current GPU. Okay, so this is the mission where I have to deal with a maze in front of a mansion or something. Well, I take out the guards. Yeah, gotta take out the guards. As you can see, the button, I don't know if you can see it, but the button prompt was kind of weird. As you can see, it's uh, just like a line. Ugh. Maybe I can turn up the um, brightness of the Steam Deck itself. I'm trying to view OBS to see if I'm getting it. Oh, maybe, th maybe this will work better. I just want to blow it out too much with the uh, brightness. But... Oh, yeah, it's really hard to see the gameplay. I apologize about that. If it 
makes you feel any better. I can't see it very well myself. <laughs> I'm not sure how far I'm going to get in this mission, but uh, I'm probably going to fail because I do not remember the controls for this game. I guess you can kind of tell a little bit. Oh, well, you know, I guess you can see okay, it's just the game is fucking dark. So, doesn't help. Gotta figure out where to hide the damn bodies. I try to hide them in the very back. should hide them back here on this little dead end spot. Okay. And this game seems to be looking pretty damn stable at 30 FPS. There's no it looks like the frame time as you can see is very stable. A friend of mine was playing this on PlayStation 5. I think just a PS4 copy. I don't know if it got a PS5 upgrade. But I remember him telling me that the um, the game was very smooth at 30 FPS, and I remember I had said to him that it's probably the frame time is very stable, and uh, it looks like it's stable on uh, the Steam Deck as well. There's a little bit of fuzziness on the graph, like it going up a little bit, but yeah, it's a stable 33 milliseconds running at 30 FPS. So, uh, that's pretty nice. God, I can't see where he is. Stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still. Okay, I got him. That's good. Okay, gotta hide the body. Yeah, the frame times are freaking stable. Super duper stable frame times. Yeah, I think I'll go for that guy. I'm looking at the map instead of looking at the actual game. It was just so dark. Yeah, I literally gotta go all the way around. Ah, shit. 
I didn't see where he was at. Eh. Well, the mission will basically be a pain in the ass now, but, um... Yeah, so, uh... That basically is the game. Mafia Definitive Edition running on the Steam Deck, and I have to say, so far, it seems quite stable. Frame times are amazingly smooth. FPS is solid at 60. Playing, trying to play, or FPS is solid, smooth at 30 with a smooth frame time. Trying to play at 60, it kind of fits, sits around more like, I think 40 to 55, and I have it on, again, lowest graphics settings. I should have probably showed that at the beginning. But, uh... Hopefully you can make that out. Custom everything off and low. So, I guess it doesn't help the uh, light off of the uh, table in the little scene there. But, uh, yeah. That is Mafia. Again, Mafia Definitive Edition on the Steam Deck, running on the beta channels for the overall operating system and I think the Steam Client was, and then also running the um, custom launch option. And again, I will link the command and the URL for the ProtonDB page where I found the uh, fix. Oh, and I probably should put this in a description or pin a comment because I totally forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video and I guess whoever watches to this point, I guess thank you for watching the whole video. Um, I am running on the latest as of this video GE Proton version 7-35. That is the, currently the latest version as of 9-22-2022. I think it was released three days ago on September 19th, 2022. Um, and yeah, I mostly run games on GE Proton unless otherwise if it just doesn't work at all. So uh, yeah, I guess enough of my babbling. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully you enjoy Mafia Definitive on the Steam Deck. Again, I think the main issue I'm seeing so far is the button prompts are really weird. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but a little fiddling around, you'll be able to figure them out no problem. So uh, yeah, again, Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.